Welcome grade 8 students in this question uh, I'm going to draw the graph of another quadratic expression in the previous video remember x square has positive sign in this question x square has negative sign let's see it the way all its graph first off remember please we are making the we are making the table x and y table then we are giving a couple of values to x then we are finding y so let's start when x is i'm picking the numbers don't forget we are picking the numbers which are close to zero so let's say x is one so y becomes negative one square plus one so it's a little bit tricky here two just this two belongs to one so y equals negative one times one plus one y equals negative one plus one so y will be zero when x is one y will be zero let's write here we found the first point x is one y is zero and another one is let me give x is let's say negative one negative numbers is a little bit tricky as i said before you should use parentheses for negative numbers because you know x squared could be a little bit confusing uh, y equals negative negative one squared plus one i'm using parentheses this is very very important and cru crucial otherwise you may find wrong answer so this negative will stay here so this parentheses will be written two times negative one times negative one plus one so you know all draw operations don't forget we do multiply multiplication before uh, all uh, operations so negative one times negative one will be one so this negative sign and here here is uh, here here you know will be positive one but uh, still he ha it has a negative sign negative one plus one will be zero again when x is negative one y will be zero again let's uh, write the second point negative one and zero now uh, in this at this moment i'm going to tell you guys you are going to find by yourself i'll just uh, give some values for example zero when x is zero y will be what you are going to find by yourself just you replace x by with zero so you're then you're going to find y it's really really easy to find and uh, let's say when x is zero y will be one yes when x is negative two so it's uh, as i said before it's a little bit tricky negative number for negative numbers you are using parentheses so negative two times negative two will be four but it has negative sign two so negative four plus one will be just negative three what about two do it by yourself do it yourself two uh, it becomes negative three now we found five points i'm going to write our five points one and zero negative one and zero zero and one negative two and negative three two and negative three now this is the time to plot these points on this coordinate plane let's start one and zero will be just put your finger on x-axis one is here so the second coordinate is y y says don't go up or down just it stays here let me use a little bit remarkable color let's say this color okay the second point negative one and zero and put your finger here just you cannot move up or down so zero and one zero here so the y coordinate says go up so the point will be here what about fourth one negative two and negative three negative two is here on x-axis we start from on x-axis then negative two go down to reach negative three is here let's say here negative three is here yes this is our fourth point what about fifth point two and negative three two is here negative three for just go down and reach negative three now it's really really easy to draw our coordinate uh, to draw our graph of this quadratic expression just i start from here and i am drawing our line passing through these points this is our final uh, final view let's say 
it is the graph of this quadratic function please notice because uh, x square has negative sign and the way shows the way of this line or the opening part shows downward please pay attention there thank you so much